Your health and safety are a top priority at Southwest Tennessee Community College. This video will provide an overview of how to gain access to the Macon Cove campus as we respond to the COVID-19 pandemic. You will learn how to access campus by car, bus, or on foot. But before you come to campus, it is important to know before you go. Be sure to take the online health assessment before you leave home. Access the quick, easy questionnaire in the Southwest website. If you fail the assessment, please do not come to campus. Monitor your health and contact your healthcare provider if you feel unwell. If you successfully complete the assessment, you may either print your health assessment pass or have it sent to you via email or cell phone text. Be sure to bring your health assessment pass with you to campus. If you're driving yourself to campus, here's how you will access the Macon Cove campus. When you enter campus, immediately proceed to the scanning station. Show the attendant your health pass that confirms you completed the online health assessment and received a pass. You must have a health pass to gain entrance. Show your health pass to the attendant. You can easily store this pass on your cell phone through text or email or print it out at home. Next, you will receive a body temperature screening. Everyone in your vehicle must be screened. This is a touchless process that takes just a few seconds. You and all parties in your car must register a temperature no higher than 100.6 degrees. If anyone has a temperature higher than this, that person will be asked to wait five minutes for a rescan. Only individuals who pass the scan will be allowed on campus. Those who fail the scan must exit the campus. If you do not have your own face mask and gloves, Southwest will provide them. Personal Protective Equipment, or PPE, must be worn at all times while on campus. You are now admitted to the Micken Cove campus. Park your car in the designated area and proceed to campus. For those individuals who arrived to campus by public transportation, such as a bus, deboard at the bus stop screening station. Here is where you will complete the campus access process. Show the attendant your health assessment pass. You can easily store this pass on your cell phone through text or email or print it out at home. Once inside the tent, your body temperature will be screened. If your body temperature falls within range, you will move on to the next step. You must register a temperature no higher than 100.6 degrees. If your temperature is higher than this, you will be asked to wait five minutes for a rescan. If you fail the rescan, you cannot be admitted to campus and must leave campus. Pick up a face mask and gloves if you do not bring your own. If you do not have a face mask and gloves, Southwest will provide this personal protective equipment for your use at all times while you are on campus. You are now admitted to the Micken Cove campus. After you pass your online health assessment and arrive to campus on foot, follow these easy steps for campus access. Proceed to the bus stop scanning station. Show your online health assessment pass to the attendant. You must complete the online health assessment and receive a passing score each day that you plan to access campus. The pass is easily stored to your cell phone through text or email, or you can print it out at home. Get your body temperature scan. This is a quick, touchless process. Your temperature must be below 100.6 degrees Fahrenheit to access campus. You must register a temperature no higher than 100.6 degrees. If your temperature is higher than this, you will be asked to wait five minutes for a rescan. If you fail the rescan, you cannot be admitted to campus. Pick up a face mask and gloves if you do not bring your own. If you do not have a face mask and gloves, Southwest will provide this personal protective equipment for your use at all times while you're on campus. You are now admitted to the Macon Cove campus. Once you are granted access to campus, look for signage to locate open buildings. Not all buildings will be accessible. Check the college's back to campus plan on the Southwest website before arriving to campus to see whether your classes will be held and which buildings will be open. Here are a few tips to ensure you have a smooth experience accessing campus so that you can focus on your goals at Southwest. Know before you go. Be sure to check out the website at southwest.tn.edu each day for updates. Also, stay tuned to your Southwest email for important messages. Fill out your health assessment each day before you come to campus. You must pass this test. If you fail or feel sick in any way, please stay home and take care of yourself. Contact your instructor to alert them of your absence. We want you to stay healthy, but we understand if you do not feel well, 
and we are here to help you get through this challenging time. You must wear a face covering and gloves at all times while on campus. Remember to practice social distancing, which means to maintain a distance of six feet between you and others at all times. Once your class is over, do not linger on campus. Leave immediately for your safety and for the safety of your fellow Salukis. Have a great semester. Thank you and be well.